Come build this cute forest villa with me. Okay, maybe cute isn't the best word to describe it. Anyway, I like my houses to have several buildings with tunnels or bridges you can get lost in. So that's what I'm gonna do here. We'll see where this is going. There will be two little towers that connect to the main building. I try to make my builds from blocks that are relatively easy to get and survival. I make houses such as this on SMPs, usually. As any other proper artist, I have absolutely no idea where this build is really going. Yeah, pretty much all my life can be summed up like this. Look at this little me working super hard. Actually, don't sign me on the being an artist part. It's just that that's the only way for me to earn diamonds on SMPs is through building houses and stores and such. I mean, what? sounds better to you? Fighting monsters in a dark pit, holding on for dear life while lost in some caves after hours of walking? Or hear me out, make cute stuff and get paid. Like be for real. I don't play Minecraft to get stressed out. If I wanted to feel a little adrenaline, I'd go on WhatsApp to see what my boss has texted me. These are okay, but you definitely haven't seen my best sirs yet. Now for the entrance. Oh, I forgot one more layer. It's starting to resemble a villa. I've never been to one, so I wouldn't know. Just kidding, never mind. A bridge for our teeny tiny towers. I like the sound of breaking stuff in Minecraft. This is how I visually separate the first and the second floor, at least in this case. I don't understand. Why do I have to make a roof for every build I make? I hate making roofs. It's tedious. That's why I'm adding as many normal logs to it as I possibly can without making it look lazy. It may not look like it, but I did get hired to build a PewDiePie server at one point in time. But I ended up ghosting them. Oh, it could serve as a tiny prison. So for the interior, it's all up to you, what you know you'll need. I'm going to make my I'm not like the other girls design for the floor, but it can also depend on the arrangement of your rooms. Oakwood and spruce wood is the superior duo for building floor. You can't change my mind. The second floor in this building is going to be one block narrower on each side to create more depth because we are professional in here. L balcony because I heard Americans don't typically have those. I feel a little bad for them with their flimsy cardboard houses. They can't have the full balcony experience that we do. Sending thoughts and prayers for all poor American souls. Or is it more like a porch? I don't know, don't ask me. That's probably not the smartest thing for me to talk about, given that one fourth of the people who watch my videos are from the US. Um, but. I used to be friends with this American guy who refused to believe that we have a balcony despite being middle class. For the second floor, I designed the floor to how the rooms are going to be laid out or just one room. This is definitely a trust the process type of situation. Trust the process, but definitely not as much as we trusted Amelia, who changed the most interesting and most useful class in our major to some dumb BS class you can basically learn online without telling any of us. So Amelia, if you ever watch this video, I hope you know that I don't like you. And this is why people avoid you right now, because you've been scheming behind our back. And you even got the university stuff on your side, which is crazy. How do you even do that? But anyways, whatever. What I like to do in my builds is easing the edges and corners a bit like this. Don't ask what this is. Looks like an old telephone line, um, but I like it. Okay, this is starting to look decent, you know, decent enough to make it like a, like a little hideout from the police or whoever else is chasing you. I'm a pretty okay member of society, so I'm good. Now, I would never want to have a prison on my property, but if one of you sickos want it, this is your chance. And I've seen many SMP prisons, especially after the dream SMP thing. But like I said, I'm a decent individual, so this is going to be a storage or a guest room for me or something normal. 
All right, let's connect our towers to the main building. So I'm making this uh, little bridge. I really like having all kinds of passages and, you know, places that you can basically hide and go to in your house than just one solid plain building like that. I like having to explore and stuff. Is it standard roof? Why can't we just live without them? I don't know. But if you've ever seen any of my shorts, which I don't recommend, but if you have, this is probably why I like setting them on fire. I live and I will absolutely die for roof windows. Why don't more people make them? I don't know. They give me the will to live. This is going to be an attic. Whenever I make a house, I always end up with so much wasted space in the attic. I mean, sure, I could tell my younger cousin that it's a place I built just for him, but I'd rather not have to deal with an annoying little spawn of devil whenever I come back home from my flower picking gig. So I usually just turn it into an additional storage, and I have to say, the roof windows do really work wonders for that as well. What I like to do is come up with a bunch of crap that I can put all over my house to make it look cool. And I can guarantee you that 90% of other Minecraft builders feel the same way. And if they tell you they don't, they are lying. A villager style flower pot or two. Why wouldn't you make a path like this for your house? It immediately elevates the look of everything to be more pro, like the pro Minecraft builders that we totally are. Here's a little hack my friend taught me. She called them water lilies, so that's probably what they are. They don't go gray in there, which is very nice. And they look pretty cool, kind of exotic. Okay, that's going to be a workshop space with the only type of roof that I can approve of because it's simple and it looks nice. That's where the basement is going to be, but I'll show you when it's done. I'm going to finish the interior of camera like any proper YouTuber. All right, there it is at night. Very nice, very nice. Let's start exploring, shall we? This is the basement. Now, at this place, I like to call a bakery. Here we have the main storage room with a map to show others how adventurous we are. We go up to a library with an enchantment table. You don't have to inform me that it's not going to produce the best enchants I know. Fireplace and some corner for your dog or for your sister. Then we've got the living room with the kitchen that connects to one of the prisons. I mean, one of the towers for guests. Yeah, the bedroom. I only need one because I live alone. Now, for the attic, I usually make it into some storage space, but it's also pretty cozy, so you could have another bedroom. And this is how it looks from above. It looks like there's a lot going on, but really, there isn't. Hope you like it!